we live in a culture, in many ways, a culture of pretending. You know, people pretend to be someone on social media, um, highlight what they consider the best parts of their life. Um, this pretending seeps over into real relationships. Um, and then they're in a relationship with somebody, but they've been pretending to be someone that they're not. And then they're scared to death to be discovered for who they really are. I think driven by that, you know, primary fear that if people really knew us, they wouldn't love us. Yeah. Um, how often do you see that dynamic? And is there a resolution to that dynamic? You know, I, I, I have to say, I think I see that dynamic all the time. I think every time. But I don't think it's as clear as the way you maybe are making it sound right now. Like it's not as that obvious to every person who's doing it. Now, not everybody feels afraid of being known. In fact, the opposite. Most people want to be known more. What they feel is the desire to be known. And they don't even realize how afraid they are to actually be known. So, and I don't think a lot of people even realize how fake or pretending they're being in social media. Mm. I, I think people are generally pretty good. And again, they have that compassion on like, whatever these defense mechanisms are, are built in because of a very good survival instinct. And it's not like we're always warring within ourselves about like, oh, I'm afraid of this. Well, you shouldn't be afraid of this. Maybe that's happening on a very, very deep level beyond the light of our conscious mind. But it's not really what's up here in our conscious light. And you get two people living like that, coexisting together, who have the best of intentions, who are doing the best they can, the best they know how, and they don't realize they're actually hurting each other. And then little by little, the hurt grows, and they're like, how did we even end up here? And that's when they need that help, like somebody from outside the system to help break things down and look at things differently and sort of look at this way and look at that. And okay, maybe this is where things went wrong or maybe you are really afraid. Maybe that question, you know, if, if you were the first person to introduce phones to your kids, would, would you do it? Like that's such a wise question because it, it zeroes in on something that those parents weren't even able to look at in themselves. They're only thinking about their kids. They're thinking about popularity. They're thinking about their kids not hating them. But when you ask the right question from outside the system, all of a sudden it sheds open and it opens up with, with new light and gives clarity. And then we can go deeper. And that's where we can do the work.